typical small business owner, uh, you know, you know, uh, shipping, receiving, bottle washer, service technician, you know, invoicing, accounting, everything. Uh, we had a couple of service techs working for me, and we were growing. Okay, we were doing uh, oil field services, natural gas measurement, uh, natural gas analytical services, and uh, data communication services for oil and gas companies. We, we had some pretty good growth, had three or four guys working for me, I was good, I was a, it was a nice size of a small business, I was making a nice living, um, and then the economy changed, a lot of our customers lost their budgets, and uh, a lot of the things that we were doing got put on the back burner. So uh, in the fall of 2009, I actually ascend, attended uh, SEBA's workshop just like this uh, in the Woodlands at the Capital One branch he had put it on. And what I saw as a small business owner was the fact that my one-page website with a little bio about me and a few things that we did uh, was not getting the message out to our potential clients and customers on really what we were capable of. We, you know, we had guys working for us that did a really top-notch job on everything that they did. But customer service was very big for us. Um, we could not get that out to the to the, to the clients that we needed to in an efficient way uh, by me running everything and having just a couple of guys working for me and obviously did not have a sales budget to bring in business development and do a marketing plan and, and those type of things. So, so when we saw this and realized that the website was really key for us to change uh, and to get into social media and use some of the things that are on the market today that are, that are free of charge outside paying for website development, a lot of the marketing we could use, we could start to build a brand, and that was the real key. Uh, we knew that we needed to build some type of brand for, for these customers to, to see and to look at uh, everything that we could do. So we started off with, so uh, we built a nice website. We got onto uh, Twitter, we got on Facebook pages, um, and I set up a LinkedIn profile. And that was what we started with, with uh, IT Vibes. And, um, we started to see response. We started to see people understand what we did a little more. Uh, when we actually went to sales calls, people would say, hey, I looked at your website. These things that you talked about on this page, that's what we need. And they already knew what we did by the time I would get there. So we started to see some return on that investment. You know, uh, we built Thinkpin Energy Services LLC website up. Um, we, we, I blogged on a regular basis, made updates to the LinkedIn profile, the Facebook pages, the Twitter feeds, uh, everything's tied to our website, and we, we did that. <clears throat> what that did is that allowed us to uh, increase our you know, uh, size and presence in the market, even though we didn't really increase our size and presence in the market physically, but we got a lot more you know, activity. So at the end of last year, uh, we had grown enough that uh, we decided to change the corporate structure of our business and we started Big Pen Energy LLC. I brought in an outside investor. Uh, he's our CFO now. He's uh, been in business for about 30 or 35 years. He owns a bank and some other businesses. So he saw what we were building through our online presence. It was great because if you're courting investors and they can go see what you're doing and they get all this information, now all of a sudden it's not just me giving a sales pitch that's out for the public to see. So, um, so he came in on January 1st, we started Big Pen Energy. We broke out the services part and now have Big Pen Energy Services as our field service division. We do O&M services for CNG and LNG stations and uh, we still provide oil and gas services for our traditional clients. But we also started another division, Big Pen Energy Construction. Uh, we actually built waste management CNG station here in Conroe and so we have a focus in construction, a focus in service, and then we also package equipment. So we went back to SEMA and said, okay, well, here's our new plan, and I want to buy three more websites from you and do all the social media. Of course, you know, he did uh, the happy dance that he was talking about up there a while ago. But uh, so as we sit down and we come up with this plan on how are we going to do this, uh, of course, you know, it was... Even though we had been in business for six years, it was something totally new, so it, it's a startup to us, even though we have six years of history behind us because it's something brand new. So, of course, we wanted to 
be real tight on budgets. You know, we don't want to spend a lot of money. How can we take one website and make four, but not really pay you a lot for it? You know, and uh, he, he worked with us, and he said, "Well, here, you know, here's the thing: laid out the marketing plan. It made sense. So we ended up with four websites. We have four different social media accounts, um, and we have we have four of everything." What that allows us to do, we see that the, uh, the potential clients come to our websites and they get the information they need. They go to our social media feeds and they see what we've been doing. They see that we post things on a weekly basis, a daily basis in some instances. And uh, then when they go to LinkedIn, that's where they can see information about me. So when I show up with our VP of Business Development for a sales call, it's not just me that's showing up, it's a brand that's showing up. But then if they've, they've been able to you know, uh, work with me on LinkedIn, they know a little bit about my history and the expertise, and so it, it makes it a little more credible at the sales call. So that, uh, and, and really IT Vibes has been uh, instrumental in helping us do that and stay on track and, and keep me, you know, it's hard to, to find the time to do a lot of the content posting that we do, but, uh, but that's what the support has been from IT.